Welcome to Plowman's Backyard. My name is Kendra and if you don't know that, that means you are not subscribed. So go ahead before you start and click that sub button. Today we are bringing to you the new Chick Cozy Egg Incubator. And this is actually brand new on the market. It just came on the market on February 1st and you're the first to see it. It is a 25 egg egg incubator and we're just gonna unbox it. I haven't even looked at it yet, but I can tell you I'm pretty excited because it's got some really great features that we haven't had on some of the incubators we've used in the past. So you can actually find this incubator on www.chickcozy.com. Okay, you can see that here. See what we've got. We have a instruction manual for the egg incubator, which is always really handy to have. Some incubators we've had in the past um, don't come with manuals, so this is a really good feature in itself to have one. Uh, lots of illustrations. It's looking like it's a pretty simple manual to follow. Looks really easy to read. And this is kind of new too. I haven't had one of these in the past, but it's an egg incubation process of your eggs. Well, this is really cool too. The last incubator we had never had this, and this is actually a hatching calendar. So you can keep track of each day of your incubation time, when you started, when you candled, and the lockdown day until day hatch. So that's pretty great. And it comes with some extra ones. So be prepared to have some multiple hatches. All right, so now we're just gonna pull this thing out of here if we can. Set that box down there. All right, I'm getting the first glimpse with you as well. Okay, so it's coming in a bag. Oh, wow. It's a good size. So, like I said, it holds 25 eggs. So just by looking at it, I have to say that I really like the design. I love being able to look at the eggs and the chicks as they hatch, so that's really neat. And just by first glance, I can see here that it has a little latch here, and that's um, just for oxygen. So that's your airflow, letting a little bit of oxygen in, so that's letting the chickens have oxygen, but it's also helping to regulate the uh, humidity in the incubator. Another really great feature that I haven't seen on other incubators is I'm just by looking at it, you can see here it's got a little handle. So that is pretty cool because usually you've got to always lift carefully at the top like this, but it's got a little handle so that you can remove the lid. So I'm just, it's already got the uh, plug attached to it. So I'm just gonna pull that out so we can get a better look. So yeah, that's, I like that already. Just take the lid off like that and I'll show you just what's on the lid here. So it actually comes with its own little candler, which is pretty cool. You can see right here. Settings for countdown days, which I have had on one of our other incubators, but I love having that just because sometimes you can lose track of the days. But they not only included that, but they also included the calendar, which I showed you earlier. So you can always make sure you know which day um, you're on when you're incubating your eggs. The other thing is that it's got a temperature setting so you can read the temperature of your eggs while they're in the incubator and the egg turning test. So it comes with its own automatic egg turner which turns or rotates your eggs once every hour. So just by looking at it, um, it's looking like it'll be pretty simple to clean. Not a lot, of, too much going on. It's got the fan there. And it's got another little air vent. Pretty easy to follow design. So we'll just set this aside. So it's just got another little set of instructions here, how to use certain things. And if the egg turner stops working, what to do. You wanna use a second thermometer. And then there's just um, a temperature measurement statement. Let's see what's in this little box. Okay. Okay, so it has your power supply here. Hey, okay, perfect. Here is our automatic egg turners all ready to go. Really easy to come out. 
good for cleaning. This is another little thing that it has its own little um, thermometer seat. So you just set that in here and you have a second little seat for a thermometer reader so that you can just keep track of a thermometer in case you're not wanting to use the one that's on the incubator itself. Other incubators that I've seen haven't had a spot where the thermometer would sit. So as you can see here, the lid would go on and you can actually monitor the thermometer really easily um, in that little seat and you can see it, it's really simple. So in my other incubator, you had to actually look through a little hole because there wasn't a lot of room where you could see in. So I love that you can see inside the incubator as it's going. This is a really cool feature. One other thing that I really love that not a lot of other incubators have is a non-slip mat. So some other incubators have mats when you're when it's time to take out the eggs out of the incubator and you're removing your egg turners and you're locking your system down. Um, they never, some of them have mats, but they're not non-slip. So this is a great way of trying to prevent splayed leg, which is co like common in when, you, when you're using your incubator because they can slip and fall and they're, they're just so fragile in those first couple days. We've had, I think, two chicks over the last few years that have had splayed leg, but the non-slip mats really help. Another really great feature of, is the easy water drawer. So it's just right here. You just give it a little bit of a pull and you add water um, through here. So you're not having to move any of the eggs around. You're not having to lift off the lid of the incubator as I've used in other incubators or have a little hole that you're squeezing water in. It's just really easy little drawer and it's gonna be so easy to clean that because by the time that the eggs have all hatched to day 21, um, it's, the incubator can get quite dirty. And so this looks like it's gonna be really simple to clean out as it gets built up with slime and gook. And if, I mean, if you've hatched eggs, you know, but this is a great little um, addition to this incubator. So far, I really like the overall feel of the incubator and the size. So they've also had this, um, I'll just show you the inside design here, but they've also designed it so that when the chicks are in here and the mats in, yes, there we go. So once that's in there and the chicks are sitting, basically the eggs will be sitting on this during lockdown time. And once the eggs hatch, they have a good amount, about two inches where they're not gonna like fall out of it or anything like that. So it's nice, it's deep, and it's a way of protecting your chicks. Once the lid's on, you'll be able to watch your chicks hatch really simply. The other thing I'm really noticing about this is that it's looking fairly simple to clean, which is a really great feature. The egg turner things, they come out quite easily. There's not really seeming to be any little areas where you're gonna have to get in with a Q-tip or um, a little brush to clean. It's um, pretty straightforward. These you can take out and remove, wash them. So this incubator is not only just used for chickens, but you can um, hatch quail eggs and duck eggs as well. So if you're thinking about purchasing a new incubator and are thinking about purchasing this one, you can go to their website um, at www.chickcozy.com. And we actually have a 5% discount code that you can use. It's Plowman's Backyard, uh, capital P, and you can put that on and purchase your own Chick Cozy 25 egg incubator and give it a try. Now, if you're curious to see how this does, we will be starting our eggs soon. For us here in Canada, it's a little bit too early, a little bit too cold for us to get started. We like to start a little bit later, about uh, mid to late March or early April. We like to start our eggs just so that they're ready to go outside when the weather is somewhat decent and we don't have to heat the coop. So don't forget to hit that sub button so that you can see when we go ahead and use this 25 egg incubator and how the process goes. I'll show you how I'm gonna set it up and how everything works. And we're gonna see how these chicks hatch. We're gonna do like a little hatch video since we can see inside. Definitely looking forward to starting some eggs in this incubator. So go ahead and hit that like button and share this with your friends. If they're looking for a new incubator to try out, go to www.chickcozy.com.